And the guy on the boat says, Manny, can you get me a spade fish or a sheep head? This is a, you know, I want to take it home to eat. The the mate in the boat asked me, I said, no problem. So I took the pole spear sheep. The spade fish swim like midwater. So I went down and shot a spade fish. In no time, there were like 20 barracudas on top attacking me. And they were biting at the at the spade fish. They were really ready to bite my hands. And I was literally pushing them away. I couldn't keep them off of me. So it occurred to me to pull the knife out, stick it. So I stuck with the knife and grabbed it by the gills immediately. When I stabbed him, he bit harder on the piece of fish, and that gave me the break to grab him real quick. If not, he got to turn on me. <sighs> then I brought him back. A bull shark came up. He wanted to eat it, but I wanted a picture with that cuda. I never caught one with a knife. I'm not going to catch another one. So I wanted to boat it and get a picture with it. <laughs> so I, I wouldn't let the bull shark have it. Oh, so what did you do to get the bull shark to, not to eat it? I pulled, away, pulled it away from him, charged him. I got aggressive with him. Charged the bull shark? When you're being attacked by a shark, if you show aggression, that's usually a good way to save you most of the time. Not always it'll work. Uh, you want to stay safe from sharks, there's nothing better than trusting the, the Lord thy God because they're his creatures. Uh, he saved me from them many times, let's put it this way. How did you know that, how did you know to charge him? Had you been in that situation before? Yeah, you gotta fight back. Or else, uh, if you run from them, I did that experiment. I saw a shark, okay, I'm gonna swim as fast as I can to the boat to get away, right? Uh -huh. I turned around, the shark was on, was on me immediately. I did it again, he attacked me again. So I figured out, okay, if I go after him, he runs the other way. But if you start panicking, trying to get away, he attacks if he's hungry. Mm. Like when you're free diving, you'll go down. And as you're coming up for air, sometimes you look down and you see a shark following you because he thinks you're running away from him. And you really you need to get up for air. But it right. looks like you're on the run. So you're acting like prey. Right. He is a predator. Predator attacks prey. If you act like a predator, you scare him away because he thinks you're going to, sharks attack each other. He thinks you're going to take a chunk out of him. Mm. Like a bull shark would get attacked by a large great hammerhead, for example. Right. So he's going to, if you show aggression, his natural instinct is to run from you. So you can bluff him. Wow. Doesn't so always work. You were able to scare the bull shark away and you got that barracuda in the boat. I've had to fight off bull sharks a million times in my life as a spear fisherman. And also, I used to create shark feeding frenzies for, you know, to interact for, for the shows and stuff. So you can probably, there's videos on YouTube of spear fishermen literally chumming up bull sharks and then chasing the bull sharks to shoot cobia off of their backs. And it is like a, I think that's a thing people do still on the East Coast where, because these giant bull sharks, these like 12, 15 foot long bull sharks will just be cruising and there'll be these huge cobia that just swim like alongside Th them. They attract the shark by pulling the rubber bands on their spear gun and popping them. Then the bull shark thinks you're shooting fish, he, he runs up or they take a plastic bottle and make a sound with it, a crackling sound. So when he comes up, the guys will go. That one on the very right, top right, yeah. Yeah, when, yeah, they, uh, that, those are following a tiger. See, they also follow the rays, see? But what happens is, every once in a while, the shark is actually very hungry. And, and, that, 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 so there's videos that, of those cobia actually swimming on top of the bull sharks, and they shoot well, they, the cobia. They, swim, they follow them from behind. When they shoot them, sometimes the shark will turn around and attack. I know divers have been de demolished by doing that by a bull shark. After they shoot the cobia, the shark turns around instead of going after Kobe, it goes after the diver mm. and tears them apart. That seems like a bad idea. It It's a great, these guys are gutsy. It's a great adventure. It's an awesome way to catch a fish, but it's a bad idea because you're going to get killed sooner or later. Right. So have you ever done this? Uh, no, but I've done other things. I've yeah, shot, well, I've shot, yeah, yeah. I've shot fish when I'm running out of bait. I'll shoot fish right there to attract the sharks and everything. I, I've done everything you can imagine, you know, mm. to, to attract the, Look at this, look yeah, at this. Yeah, there you go, see? Yeah, full screen this if you can, see, Steven. Yeah, there's bull sharks you see everywhere there. So and look, they're guy. surrounded by bull sharks. Yeah, well, a lot of guys get hurt doing that. They may get away with one Whoa. day. Whoa. Not another day. There's like a hundred bull sharks all around them. Uh, yeah, they're looking for a cobia following one of them. There's your cobia. So there's right cobias there. there's right, cobia there. right there. Yep. Right there. See? Shoots the cobia. No sharks are chasing him. Well, sometimes the shark is not hungry. He's he's got to be hungry for for that to happen. If that shark wanted to, couldn't he just turn around and eat that cobia? 
he, they do sometimes. Sometimes they'll eat the cobia. Other times they'll eat the. I'm saying like before the they shoot it. Before like even if the. No, look, look, see, there's a bull shark on the attack right there. See how the guy fend them off? No, no, rewind that by like thirty seconds. He, yeah, yeah, he he knew what he was doing. Okay. All right, let's see what's going on. He shot shooting. the cobia. He's swimming back to the surface. Here he's comes getting, a bull shark. A bull shark attack. Okay. See. Oh, uh, he just pointed see, the thing at him. If yeah. he if he turned around and tried to get the boat, that bull shark would have killed him. They're getting fired oh, up now. Oh God. Let's see. Yeah. Look at that. See how they they're under attack. And there's blood everywhere and everything. Okay. Get out of the water. Get out. Now, wh where does like a bull shark rank on like, as uh, far as like dangerous sharks? Probably the world's most dangerous shark. Why is that? Okay, this see how clear the water is. Imagine yeah. being attacked like that, and you're in the intracoastal with zero visibility. You won't see them coming. Right. They go up river, they go in the beaches, and they attack people. It's a coastal shark, and he's got a hellacious temper. On top of that, he is a man killer, a man eater. And he's got a hellacious temper. And uh, his bite is lethal. His teeth are razor sharp. You can shave your arms with them. And they can they can bite three times harder than a great white shark. Three times harder. Yeah. They're smaller, but they're deadlier. So so how would you compare it? How is that their their bite is harder than a great white? But why isn't a great white? So if you were, if you were hypothetically, we put you in a, a swimming pool with a great white and a bull shark, how would the great white be or how would the bull shark be deadlier because it would just be more aggressive to eat you there's more of them in the water they're they're very shy but they're very explosive in their attacks and uh great whites are picky eaters mm. the bull is not as picky oh okay like a tiger usually eats a person because he's not as picky eater he's a uh, diet is very rare but a tiger shark doesn't have a bad temper neither does a great white like a bull shark does Okay. Bull shark and lemons have bad tempers. They have high levels of testosterone. Mm. If if you spear him and he's on the end of the line, he'll come after you. If you catch him rod and reel, you get in the water with him, he, usually he'll come after you. Yeah, these guys are still shooting these cobia surrounded by these bull sharks. There might be different days put together, but right. yeah... It, a lot of guys have been bit doing that. So, so this is just normal for when you were spear fishing, doing these competitions. It was just normal to see these bull sharks. You just kind of be got to no, be cognizant there, of them. For a while, there's a lot of bull shark out there right now. For many years, there was no sharks. The the commercial long lining have decimated them, and there was hardly any sharks around. So you know, so they passed all the conservation laws. Now they're back. What year did they pass those converse, conservation laws? I'm not sure. They came little by little. You know, understand I was out of commercial spearfishing for quite a while. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But they, they the started, a, no, they, they, one species after another started being stopped. You know, you weren't allowed to kill the, the dusky, the oh, okay. longfin mako, a guayle shark. Mm -hmm. Great white shark is protected. That's why there's more and more of them now right now. So, of course, when you protect something, they come back. The Goliath grouper was hunted to oblivion. Now it's coming back. You start mm. seeing more and more. The sharks are they're everywhere. There's a disbalance out there. You know, uh, every once in a while, a good shark tournament to balance things out might mm. be a good idea. Yeah. I like the spearing because you could target the type of shark they need to be targeted. Yeah. Instead of there's a real rare species. Bycatch. You, you don't want to catch it on bycatch. So uh, my idea was, uh, you know, spearing tournament. That's my idea. Nobody Nobody's ever going to agree with me, but. Right. To go out and uh, and have a tournament, let the guy shoot several sharks every so often to kind of like mm. level out the fish and shark population to a balance. Because it's it's if you talk to divers and fishermen, they can't get a fish in the boat half of the time. Yeah.